Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on an ROG Strix G laptop, the exact model uh, G531GT, as you can see on your screen. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your RAM if you want to replace it or upgrade it. So first thing, guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure that it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip the computer over to access your bottom case screws. Now this computer has quite a lot of screws on the bottom. You'll see these four on the top edge of your screen, these four on the bottom edge, and these three in the middle. Once you get those screws out, guys, you're gonna take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool because plastic tends to scratch your cases less than metal does, but some sort of plastic pry tool like a guitar pick. And you're gonna go around the entire edge of your computer and gently, slowly, but firmly, pry off the bottom case from the computer. Now be careful not to put your pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components, but just keep it on the edge, even if you have to take a couple passes around. And even if one side gets stuck, leave it, go on the other side, keep going around until you get that bottom case off. Now once your bottom case comes loose, guys, don't just rip it off. If you notice here, I have my bottom case just set up a little bit and set down. The reason for that are these two ribbon cables right here. They're attached from your bottom case to your motherboard. And if you rip off your bottom case, you'll damage those ribbon connector ports. So we wanna take these off and then we can remove our bottom case entirely. Now these type of ribbon cable connectors, there's a high potential for breaking them and then no longer being able to use them. So I'm gonna play a clip right now showing you how you can maneuver these type of ribbon cable clips. Okay, so to take a ribbon cable out of this kind of connector, first you have your ribbon cable here, you have the port on the motherboard, and then you have this retainer clip over here. This clip opens and shuts like a book cover. It opens from this side, and the hinges are on this side. So in order to get that up, be very careful. Take a small flat pry tool, slide it underneath, and pop it up like that, and then the ribbon cable can come out. After taking the ribbon cable out, I like to put it back down for safekeeping so it doesn't get caught on anything and rip. These are very, very breakable, these retainer clips. And if you break it, you're most likely not going to be able to find a replacement, um, in which case your ribbon cable won't be able to uh, secure down anymore. So be very careful. To get the retainer clip back in, you would pop it up again very carefully. You would slide the ribbon cable in nice and flush. It may take a few times if you're not used to it, getting it flush, and then just snap the retainer clip down, and that's how you would operate that kind of clip. So once those are unplugged and your bottom case has been removed, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now before touching anything in a computer, guys, my goal is to make the computer as safe to work on as possible, which means the first thing I always do is remove or at least unplug the battery. Also, I tend to have my computer sitting on an anti-static pad in my shop. Either that or an anti-static bracelet go a long way to making the computer safe to work on. So if you guys need any help with tools or supplies like that, there'll be a link above also below in the description, it'll show you some tools and supplies that I use for my projects. But now I'll show you how to get that battery out or again, at least unplug it. You have these four screws here that you remove to actually remove the battery from the computer. And the battery port is here to unplug it. So this type of battery port, check yours out guys. You'll notice it's a two part clip. You're gonna push that top part up, slide it up toward your fan, get it away from the rest of the clip and that will release this clip. And then you can just pop it off straight up and out of your computer. That's how you would remove that battery. That's how you would unplug it from the motherboard. Okay, so now that your battery is removed or at least unplugged, we'll proceed to the RAM. Your RAM is located right here, guys. You have two ports for your RAM. Uh, the way that these ports work, there are spring-loaded metal arms on either side. What you would do is you would gently and slowly pry those metal arms apart from each other, away from the ram stick. The ram stick will then release, and oftentimes it will even pop up a little bit. Then you can take it and slide it out of that port. To put the ram back in, as you can see on your ram, guys, you have a long side that plugs in and a short side that plugs in. So don't worry about putting the ram in upside down. You can only get it in one way, uh, the correct way. 
and that's how you would get your RAM stick in. And then once it's nice and flush and secure plugged in, you would just press down right in the middle a little bit, press down on the RAM stick, and those metal arms will clip onto it and secure it in place. Below in the description, I will have the RAM specs for this computer, uh, the maximum RAM that you can do, what kind of RAM. Um, and I'll also have a link above and below in the description that give you a list of all the replacement and upgrade parts for this model computer if you're looking uh, for upgrades. As far as the RAM goes, a nice side note with RAM, uh, every computer has a maximum RAM that it allows. That doesn't mean that if you put too much RAM in, you'll damage the computer. It just means that if you put too much RAM in, the computer won't access that excess RAM. So it's not hurting the computer, it's just a, a waste of money. But definitely maxing out RAM in a gaming computer is an excellent, uh, cheap-ish way to make sure your computer is working as well as, as it can be. So that's the video on the RAM, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out below in the description the FAQs. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please feel free. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.